مرحبا Welcome again to Arabic with Ibtisam In today's lesson, we learn the ordinal numbers in Arabic From the first to the tenth Are you all ready? Hadri Yalla In lesson seven, we learned the cardinal numbers in Arabic from zero to 10. Numbers that we use to count like wahad, tinin, talate, and so on. Make sure to learn them. Ordinal numbers, al-a'dad al-tartibiyya, are called ordinal because they signify an order. First, second, third, etc. They can easily be derived from cardinal numbers because they follow a pattern. In practical terms, this means that they're easy to remember because they rhyme. Ordinal numbers in Arabic are gender defined. Therefore, you need to be familiar with both the masculine and the feminine ordinal forms. Let's learn the ordinal numbers through this table. And then we'll have a few examples on how to use them. First, the masculine form, awwal. Awwal. The feminine, ula. Ula. Second, tani. Tani. The feminine form, tanye, tanye. Third, talit, talit, talte, talte. Fourth, rabia, rabia. The feminine form, raba. رابعة fifth خامس خامس خامسة خامسة sixth the masculine سادس سادس the feminine سادسة سادسة seventh سابع سابع سابعة سابعة ايت تامن 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 ناينت تاسع تاسع تاسعة تاسعة Tenth, عاشر, عاشر, the feminine form is عاشر, عاشر. Ordinal numbers come either after the noun or before it. This works only from the first to the tenth. From eleven onwards, the ordinal numbers should come after the noun. If we use the ordinal number after the noun, we use the definite article il for both the noun and the ordinal number. In this case, the ordinal number is used as an adjective. For example, the fourth house, il bet ir il bet ir when we use a feminine noun, we use a feminine ordinal number. For example, the fourth girl, il bint il rabaa, il bint il rabaa. Notice here for a house, bet, which is a masculine noun, I use the masculine ordinal number, rabaa. And for a girl, bint, which is a feminine noun, I use the feminine ordinal number, 
رابعة البيت الرابع البنت الرابعة However, if the ordinal number is used before the noun, it's always masculine and the feminine article is not used. For example, the fourth house. رابع بيت رابع بيت The fourth girl رابع بنت رابع بنت Notice that although بنت is feminine I use the masculine ordinal number رابع Also, both examples are definite in English and are translated the same The fourth house is البيت الرابع or رابع بيت The fourth girl is البنت الرابعة or رابع بنت Let's take more examples To say this is the first day It could be the first day of school, of work, etc. هذا or had اليوم الأول هذا اليوم الأول هذا or had is this for the masculine form اليوم the day الأول the first هذا اليوم الأول or هذا or had أول يوم Both are translated the same to English This is the first day. هذا اليوم الأول or هذا أول يوم. Let's take a feminine noun. هذه or هاي المرة الأولى. This is the first time. هذه المرة الأولى or هذه أول مرة. هادي أول مرة So هادي المرة الأولى or هادي أول مرة I live on the fifth floor Emil would say أنا ساكن في الطابق الخامس أنا ساكن في الطابق الخامس or أنا ساكن في خامس طابق أنا ساكن في خامس طابق I live أنا ساكن for the masculine form floor is طابق and it's a masculine noun fifth is خامس أنا ساكن في الطابق الخامس or أنا ساكن في خامس طابق A female would say أنا ساكنة في الطابق الخامس or أنا ساكنة في خامس طابق Let's take an example using a feminine noun This is the fifth year هادي or هاي السنة الخامسة or هادي خامس سنة هادي or هاي is this for the feminine سنة is year هادي or هاي is سنة الخامسة this is the fifth year an important comment when we speak about grades in school the ordinal number is always used after the word grade صف so the first grade is is صف الأول. The second grade is الصف الثاني and so on. By the way, grade صف is a masculine noun. Therefore, we use masculine ordinal numbers. I hope the lesson today helped you understand ordinal numbers. Thank you for subscribing and liking this lesson. Remember, learning Arabic takes practice. So listening to our lessons often improves your spoken Arabic. See you later in a